Hey, this is Leslie with Music and Mascara. Today we're going to talk about this Instant Pot. You may have seen it on your Facebook news feed, heard some friends talking about it, curious as to what it was for. So who is this video for? People who like easy and fast cooking, for people who love their crock pot, and we'll talk about that. And it is also for people who just need the convenience of some hands-off cooking. So if you love to cook, love a lot of ingredients, love to get your hands dirty, this might not be for you. But if you like any of those things easy crock pot hands off you know you want a nice meal for your family at the end of the day then this video is for you all right so why an instant pot number one it's faster so let's say you want to have a roast or a stew for dinner. You know, traditionally in a crock pot, that would take eight hours. You know, you might get up in the morning and you have to put everything in the crock pot and it would cook all day while you were at work and then it'd be ready when you got home. But essentially it took all day, right? Which means the meat already had to be thawed. It had to be ready to go in the crock pot. And that is just a very time consuming process when you look at it as a whole, as opposed to 35 minutes in this instant pot. So essentially you could even come home from work and be like, oh, I meant to put that in the crock pot today. Throw it in. It's 35 minutes cook time. That doesn't include the warm up or um, the depressurizing, but still significantly less time than that eight hours in a crock pot. So it's definitely faster. You can do your own research, but the way a pressure cooker works and locking in that steam, it actually makes your food more nutrient dense as well because it cooks at a lower temperature. So do your own research if that's important to you. It was important to me. Eat a lot of vegetables and I like to keep the nutrients in there and again so you don't have to think about it I don't have to prepare my entire plan the next day when I'm gonna put what in what I'm gonna do so less thought less processing time and just super easy to use what I am cooking today is just like beans usually collard greens and then I eat it over rice and I've gotten really used to the instant pot and I just dump everything in you know used to it used to be this day-long process and I'd have two different crock pots, running collard greens, running beans, and they'd have to cook all day. They might get done, they might not, because beans are hard to cook sometimes, right? So with the Instant Pot, I actually use a manual setting on here because I found out five minutes is the magic number. We'll run the timer from start to finish so that we track the time of heating up, depressurizing. So we'll look at the whole process, literally, and it likes to sing to you, isn't that nice? Um, you take the lid off. It has some accessories for when you're roasting things you need to measure. Um, but we're just going to dump these things right in. I just want you to see how easy and thoughtless it is. Collard greens. And some jelpies. Vegetable broth. I usually add additional water in here because you just want to make sure that you cover up, um, especially if you're making a super stew. You don't have to cover it if you're making a meat, but um, I like to make sure there's enough liquid. And then I like to add red pepper to it, just for a little bit more flavor as it's cooking. All right, so then you pop the lid on, pop the lid on. And again, I'm gonna use a manual setting. I use the same one every time. It automatically holds that setting for me, pops up the five minutes, and then it will automatically start. Um, you wanna make sure your vent is closed. Right now it's not pressurized. You'll notice that it will pressurize, and there's a little indicator here, and that's how you know when it's done, is once this finishes, it's gonna be then this pressure valve releases um, and that's when you know that it's ready and safe to open. All right, so everything is finished. From start to finish was a total of 57 minutes. It took about 25 minutes to pressurize that five minute cook time we talked about and the rest of the time up to, so it's less than an hour total for something that would have normally taken eight maybe 10 hours in a crock pot so significant i didn't have to pre-plan i could just decide hey i want to have this for lunch and it's easy to make it's something that would have normally taken all day so i just want you to understand all the benefits with this instant pot and how easy it is to use so we're going to leave a link for this instant pot in the description below let us know if you have any questions or you know want any other information because we obviously are using this product regularly and let us know if there's anything that you would like to see us review so my name is leslie and this has been music and mascara 
make sure you subscribe to the channel and again just let us know if you have any questions